Hello lovely humans and welcome back to my channel. In this week's video we are going to be talking about our fluffy friends and how to incorporate a pet at your wedding. And of course, special guest standing by today is our sweet dog, Trixie. Hi oh, baby. <laughs> what are you doing? This is Trixie. She is our almost 10 year old Aussie Shepherd Border Collie Mix. And uh, honestly, one of the best things that's ever happened to our family. So I understand the love that we pet owners have for our special friends. You are shedding everywhere. <laughs> and nope, we're not going to be licking my leg. Nope, we're not going to be licking my leg. All right, so if you see a black blob throughout this video, it's because Trixie, who otherwise is known as my shadow, uh, is, is just going to join us for today and hopefully doesn't lick the heck out of my leg because that will drive me a bonkers. No! But a lot of us have sweet furry friends that we want incorporated in our wedding day some way, somehow. And we have seen plenty of events be really, really successful at incorporating, um, more often than not, dogs into a portion of the event or the ceremony or of the day. But we've also seen like the downside of that a little bit. So I know some of the logistics that you'll need to think through if you really want to have your furry family member a part of your wedding day. So without further ado, let's just jump right on into it. Now for a majority of this video, I'm going to specifically be referring to dogs because those are the only pets we have ever seen at a wedding. Of course, if you have another pet that you wanna incorporate, this will still integrate quite nicely, I think, uh, but you might have some other logistics that you'll need to work through. First and foremost, I don't know why I'm yelling. Sorry, Trixie. First and foremost, please make sure that it's okay to have a dog at the venue. I'd like to say that this one's not necessary, but it is because we've had clients not okay it with the venue first and it turned out to be a teensy tiny bit of a problem when a huge part of your day isn't allowed to be involved. So please confirm with your venue first. Especially if your venue is an Airbnb and or spend the night type situation, you want to make sure that you're allowed to have your pet there. The second thing you want to do is just please, please tell your photographer and your videographer because they are going to want to be available to capture all of that stinking sweet, sweet moments. I know that some of the cutest photos that we've gotten back for in galleries include dogs. So you're going to want to make sure that there is uh, some time that your photographer takes with you and your pet alone or you and your partner, all three of you together, um, so they can really capitalize on that moment and capture it appropriately. They also would appreciate if you're a little bit prepared with some bribery, which is point number three. You're going to want to have like an emergency kit for your pet, including, uh, but not limited, to treats for bribes and <laughs> to get them to pose for photos, their favorite toy or two, a bowl for water because obviously your pet will need water throughout the day, some poop bags, and make sure that there's some sort of leash and collar situation for uh, someone to handle them. And you might listen to this part and be like, well, yeah, but like our dog is really, really calm and we're not really worried about it. We think it should be, we, it should be an okay situation. Which brings us to point number four, pet personality. Um, like I know that my dog would love to be around large groups of people. I know she would. She just she just would love to lick people to death. Huh, Trix? She's asleep, so she's not replying. So I know that I know that my dog would enjoy that experience. I also know that she may be she may become hyperactive and or overwhelmed if consistently around a hundred people. Just because we haven't exposed her to anything like that yet. So just because I know her personality doesn't mean that it's gonna be super successful across the board. Because you do need to kind of take the, the day and think through the day from the pet's perspective. There's a lot going on. There's loud music while you're getting ready. People are moving back and forth. You know, mommy or daddy is getting all gussied up and like they're they're kind of like, wait, but, but so, will you pet me? But you don't want to because the hair in the situation. So it can be a, a unique situation for a pet that might be not stressful at all. Like your pet may be totally fine or it could really bring on some stress or some anxiety for them. So that's why having a pack ready to go is a great idea to make them feel comfortable throughout the day. Uh, speaking of making them feel comfortable, you're going to want to have like a handler and or a pet sitter no matter what. It's definitely not in your best interest to uh, walk with your dog down the aisle if you're wearing a large white dress. Again, we're not entirely sure what your pet's gonna do in this situation, so you definitely don't wanna be holding onto the leash if your pet 
bolts. So whether you are releasing your dog down the aisle to be the flower girl or ring bearer, which by the way, don't actually put the rings on the dog, okay? Just don't, like one shake of the head or of the body and the rings go flying and you could have yourself a hot mess of a situation. So if you are um, having them walk down the aisle before you, have someone release the pet for you um, and then someone on the other end prepared to collect that pet after they walk down. So like you release Fluffy or Fido or Fifi, I don't know why they're all F names, it's just that's just what happened with with my brain, release them at the back of the aisle. And if you only have one person, they can run around and like collect them at the top of the aisle too. But make sure someone else is handling your pet during the perfunctory times, like during the ceremony and during photos afterwards. The next thing you're, you're definitely gonna wanna figure out is please have an escape plan in mind. Because again, we're not quite sure how your pet's gonna react. We have had a couple that wanted their dogs to be present throughout the entire ceremony. And the dogs just like bellowed for the first few minutes to the point that we were like, okay, we gotta get them out. Cause they were just like, just excited. Yes, that's that's my dog bellowing noise. <laughs> they, were, <laughs> they were just excited to be there and you couldn't blame them. I mean, they were being really cute, but totally distracting and really, really loud. So you need to have an escape plan. One that you're aware of, one that your vendors are aware of, and one that the handler is aware of. Another fantastic option is to hire a company like Rover. Um, I think it's rover.com, not sponsored. We've just used them before and it's been really successful to where um, after you're done with your pet with the ceremony and the photos, you're gonna wanna give them space and an area to go relax. They may need to go for a walk to calm down, or or you can even have um, someone bring them back to your hotel room for you. So Rover's a great option for a couple of those things. Definitely something to look into uh, if you want your fluffy friend a part of your big day. And, and seriously, like, I, I can't say this enough, you do need an escape plan. Like you might be like, no, we don't. You do, you do. Every single time we've had a pet be a part of an event, we have definitely formed an escape plan, uh, the, the just in case scenario, okay? So no matter how docile and how sweet your pet is, this is not me saying that they're gonna freak out and get out of control, but we also want them to be comfortable too. And last but not least, safety is of the utmost importance here. That's not just for your pets, but for your guests as well. So that means letting your guests know ahead of time that a dog or cat will be present at your event uh, so those with allergies can plan accordingly. Now this doesn't mean that your dog is going to go by and lick every single one of the guests, but if someone doesn't like dogs or if they're allergic to them, it's really nice to warn them ahead of time. Also when it comes to safety, you're going to want to make sure your pet has a a proper safety harness and or collar situation. I know that the the little bow ties are so stinking cute and the little tutu type dresses are just adorable. They are. We also wanna make sure that your pet has some sort of harness should anything happen. A car backfire, the pup gets startled and starts running. Um, we wanna make sure that they are well taken care of and well harnessed in addition to being cute. This means that your handler needs to be available to watch the pet at all times during your ceremony and during the photo times. We definitely don't want the pet being left unattended in a strange new place. So definitely have a safety plan in mind. Um, and then actually I said last point for the last one but this one this one is like I kind of I have to talk about this because um, we've had this happen guest pets you wouldn't think that we needed to have a conversation about this but we do if you have a lot of guests traveling out of town and they're bringing their pets along with them awesome good on them like way to travel with your fluffy friend but you do need to know if those pets are coming to the event or not we have had guests come to an event with dogs. In fact, at one event, there were three dogs and we, I was just like, how do you, I, I had never seen anything like that. That was the first time I had seen that. And all I could think was like, did anyone clear this with anybody or they just brought their pets? I was, I was utterly confused. But for this particular situation, um, it presented a huge issue because there was a hyperactive pup who was about a year old and a large breed dog um, who needed to let off some steam and was present at the ceremony along with two other dogs. So the owner of this pup, sweet, sweet pup, just, just excited and overly animated, brought the pup out towards the back of the ceremony. Well, this bride was riding in on a horse-drawn carriage and the horse was scared of dogs. So what we ended up going through, it's just like, this is one of those crazy stories that I'm always like, I should make a video about this one time, but I, I guess I'm just sharing all the details now. Uh, the owner didn't want to move. The owner wanted to stay there with his pup. 
and we couldn't get the bride to come down because the owner wouldn't move and was arguing with us, this is crazy, was saying stuff like, well, if, if the horse is a, car- a proper carriage horse, the horse wouldn't be scared of dogs. And then like, maybe we can discuss the etiquette of a proper carriage horse after the ceremony. So <laughs> I'm just saying, um, if there's a chance that pets are involved or that your guests are bringing pets, talk through scenarios with them. Run through the list of things that we already have going on here, but just apply it to other people's pets as well. I I never thought that that would be a discussion that I'd need to have, but apparently it is. (laughs) If your guests are bringing pets to the event, you got to run through the same exact steps as well. So that's what we have for today, folks. Thank you so much for stopping by. I know it's a brief one and a little bit more hyper-specific, but listen, including pets is such a cute way of celebrating your life and your love story. I absolutely love it when we have pets involved. Just make sure you're taking the proper safety precautions and you have an escape plan and some treats on hand to make sure everyone is thrilled with the situation. If you haven't done so already, like this video because you like the video and subscribe to this channel for more tips and tricks for the modern day bride. As always, if you want to find us or connect with us on social media, you can find us at JW Coordination or you can find me at the Jamie Wolfer on Instagram and my personal channel on YouTube. And until next week, bye guys. Trixie, you want to say bye? Come here. Ready? Bye, guys!